Shabbat Shalom. This week's Torah portion, Bahar, is just one single chapter. In this week's portion, the Jubilee is established. The Parsha opens by telling us that it was on Mount Sinai, Bahar, that God gave the command of the Shemitah. Bahar, on the mountain, can represent both spiritual enlightenment and elevation or a monumental obstacle, a mountain, a place that is just too high to traverse. Called Yovel, our Parsha explains how every 49 years, seven weeks of seven years on the seventh month, on Yom Kippur, the shofar of freedom is to be sounded throughout the land for all the inhabitants. This iconic verse from this week's Torah portion to proclaim freedom throughout the land is inscribed on the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia. The Parsha tells us that it is on the 50th year that it, that it is to be hallowed. The year of freedom is a holy year in which human beings are once again restored to their rightful place in the universe as valued, respected individuals created in God's image, no person a slave to another. All debts are released, all obligations forgiven. The year of freedom is a Sabbath of the soul for the whole society. We are commanded to see the whole year in special relationship to each other as humans. Bahar is our reminder and our promise. It demands that we not avoid our duty to choose to do what is right, to pursue justice, to follow God's ways, and to proclaim liberty to everyone we encounter. That is our mission. Leonard Cohn once wrote, Ring the bell that still can ring. Forget your perfect offerings. There is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. The Liberty Bell has long remained at rest with a big crack in it. It is no longer a literal, in a literal sense, a bell that can still ring, but its inscription could not be more resonant or more timely. Those who are enslaved must go free. All lives matter. We who believe in freedom cannot rest until this happens. We have to let the light in. We are all Bahar on the mountain. It's not too high. It is a place of spiritual enlightenment. Shabbat Shalom.